Dylan, what happened? Freaking knocked over like a hundred, nah, probably like 25 grams of pigment. 25 grams? Yeah. How much is that worth? That's like $185. Right here. <laughs> just, you just spilled 200 bucks? Mm -hmm. That freaking sucks. <laughs> a day in the life. What's going on guys? Alan from Dr. Pigment. Today we're going to be spraying this Dodge Durango. She actually booked her appointment, I want to say it was like five or six months ago, a long time ago. She saw us on a couple of our TikTok videos, reached out. Uh, they're located in North Carolina. She was like, hey, I got a Dodge Durango. Also, I got some bike parts. I want them to match. So we're going to spray a nice satin clear coat over it. Of course, we're going to be doing a color shift on this one. Um, and we're gonna add a little bit of a booster, stuff like that. So we've already washed it, it's squeaky clean. This is gonna be a beast. Uh, this one we're gonna use the standard compressor application. No AHS, no turbine. We'll just use the standard 60 to 80 gallon compressor, Mulissa over there. And uh, yeah, it should go by pretty quick. I have a very hectic week coming up. We got this one, and then we got the bike parts, and we got a Kia coming in, a Kia Stinger, and then a Kia Telluride. They want their window trim done. Everyone's driving from out of town. These people, North Carolina, uh, a couple days from now, they're from Tampa. So everyone out of town. The invite's still open. You guys wanna come hang out at the shop, learn, whatever the case is. Maybe you just wanna hang out. Shop's open, Jacksonville, Florida. All right, let's get to work. So obviously we're not gonna keep the lights on the entire time. I think it's cool, you know, why not? Uh, but we are gonna touch up some of their window trim. I mean, that is like, you can't even call that gray. That is like borderline blue. Uh, what else? Ah, same with the other side. That's all right, that's not too bad. The roof is gonna be a big one. Look at all this surface area. Ah. That's all right, that's all right. Let's get a cool. Uh, I have yet to spray this color shift either. And I've had this one for like seven years, six or seven years, and I've never done a full scale car. I did a motorcycle, but never a full car. Not that I know of, crazy. All right. All right, so we got the masking done. I didn't get too much video content of it. I kind of just got sidetracked last night. And I mean, it's nothing crazy. Uh, the door jams, I'll show you guys that after, but we got a pretty good tight seal on those. Uh, I like to prop open the door handles. What's this? Oh, I like to prop open the door handles, kind of get behind spraying. Just a little tip that I learned along the way. We of course did the final wipe down with water and denatured alcohol and a lint-free towel. Oh, uh, this one, obviously the, the trim's faded pretty bad and you know, it, we obviously, we gotta respray it. So uh, I tried getting this off. This probably took an hour of my time just to try and get off and it did not. Oh, I was able to get this one, but the others, mm -mm. So we'll just, uh, we'll spray the base, let it dry for a couple hours use the low adhesive um, purple tape on it and then spray the rest of the color and then remove it. So that way it's black and fresh. But a little worth mentioning, you have to make sure two things, that your base is thick enough whenever you do this and having enough time to let it dry before you put tape over it. And three things I forgot, use low adhesive tape. Don't use the, the cheap stuff, don't use the super sticky stuff and you're just stuck in a sick, sticky situation. <laughs> got that all masked up, got this all mounted. All right, you already know, let's get to work.
next morning, it's fully dry. I did one coat of satin clear coat and I did that for a reason because I wanted to sand these things out. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to apply two coats knowing that I'm going to have to sand this anyways. Like, like this, when I was spraying the base, like something like shot out, there we go. Something like shot out the gun and I had to like fix it and I didn't fix it. Sorry about the hands, dirty, but I didn't fix it. Oops. All, I didn't fix it all the way. So uh, I want to, I want to spend some more time on this and sand this smoother. So I got one coat of satin clear coat on this. Um, it looks good. I dig it. I'm glad we stopped at the pearls where we did. We didn't add more. You can see a little bit of the orange on the light reflection because it's got blue, purple, and orange. And the orange is, is very tough to see. Like here, you don't even see it at all. So, but it's got to be the, uh, the tail end reflection of the sun. Will this fluorescent show it? Nope. It's all right. Okay. So I got two people coming in from Tampa. They're up next. They'll be here today at nine. It is seven now. So I gotta do a bunch of sanding, cleaning, and then respraying of the clear coat. So I probably could have, yeah, I'm just being picky like this. This right here, hold on. Can't even see it on camera. There we go. A little hair. I wanna sand this out, so. One coat of satin clear coat, let it dry. I'm gonna sand with 800 to 1,000. Oh, another shirt fiber. I just wanna make this a little bit better. And then clean it, re-clear it, let it sit for a couple hours. We'll pull it out, we'll pull the next car in and just keep on moving. Closer. <laughs> Still recording? Yeah.